I hope I never have to use one of these in real life, but what's worse to imagine is needing one and not having one, or needing one and not being able to access it quick enough to make a difference. In the old vehicle, I had one, this one, which was good, but storage of it was sketchy at best. This time round, for the Iron Emu Prado, we're doing it properly. I've got a special guest and an awesome, awesome solution to show you. I'm here with Russell Cap from Cap Industries. I reached out to Russell, I said, hey, I'm building this Prado up and I want it to be a safe, reliable, practical touring vehicle. And he said, well, why don't we have a chat and we'll film it and we'll do a very special installation in the Prado. Thanks for joining me, Russ. Thank you so much, mate. Yeah. So tell us about Cap Industries and what is it you do? Cap Industries is my tiny little business that I started in 2014. Basically, I make fire extinguisher mounts or small metal brackets. Um, so you take the factory seat bolts out, my little bracket goes in, you attach a uh, fire extinguisher to that, and then the factory bolts go back in. So it's an, a no drill, no modification, simple installation. And what's good about storing a fire extinguisher in that position? You need to know where your fire extinguisher is. You need to have it really quickly. Uh, for instance, if a, a fire starts and there is fuel for that fire, for instance, like a electrical fire or a fuel fire, oil fire, um, even a fat fire or a barbecue when you're out camping, if there is fuel around it, like leaves and debris, the fire will double in size every few seconds. So yeah, it's scary. If, yeah, if you're running around trying to find your extinguisher, or maybe you've got it hidden away nicely, neatly packed away in your the back of the car, um, it's good that it's there, but you need to have quick access. So that's why I just, you're in the driver's seat, you know where it is, yeah. bang. The question for you, even if you have a fire extinguisher in your vehicle, because you may be sitting there going, yep, box ticked, I've got one. How quickly can you access it if I said, go get it right now? That's a good you question. Know? So that's, that's what you got to ask yourself. And that's why I really love the concept of this. It's in such an accessible position from anyone in the vehicle and easy to get to when you're pulled up at camp. Yeah, it's thanks, man. Awesome. Thank you. Brackets, Russ, are all made in Australia. Yep. And tell us a bit more about the technology that's gone into them. Yeah, so as I said, they're, they're a simple product. Um, I manufacture the initial prototype one. I just make it here in my little shed. <laughs> um, and I cut awesome. some steel up. I fold it, bend it, um, you know, weld it back together, make a little bracket. And then if once I fit it and test fit it and make sure it's gonna work, I will then uh, draw it on CAD, get them laser cut, powder coated, folded, and then uh, collected all here in uh, all Keysborough here. and Dandenong. So, you know, everything's made here in Melbourne or Australia, uh, all 100% Australian owned and made. I've actually had a few people reach out, send me testimonials of my product actually saving their vehicle. <laughs> it's like insurance. I hope yeah, no one ever yeah, uses it. Yeah, but right. to know that it has been mm. effective, um, quickly been accessible, saved the vehicle and two houses that I know of so far. So you're saying that people have sent you photos and said, hey, Russ, thanks very much. My car did not burn down, <laughs> thanks to you. <laughs> uh, it, it's a nice feeling. Yeah, and yeah well, I've seen lots so of cool. lots of photos, and uh, um, it's even been on film a few times. Wow. Um, people think that it was staged, but I assure you, people aren't going to stage setting their cars yeah. on fire. That makes me think things can just change so quickly, you know. And that's why it's a fairly cheap insurance policy for what you're getting out of it. So yeah, if you don't have a fire extinguisher, I highly recommend getting one. And this is a pretty good way to store it and to access it. A lot of people think that fires won't happen to me because I'm using quality components. Um, like I don't use the, the cheap Chinese inverters or all those different things. But honestly, accidents happen to everyone. You could be having a car crash um, and an oil line gets hit or electrical yeah, line. Yeah. Yeah. So it can happen to anyone. It's, it's all good, it won't happen to you until it does. Yeah, so. <laughs> cheapest insurance you can have. Yeah, ah, awesome. All right, Russ, well, thanks very much. I reckon we've got a bracket to install. Let's do it, man, yeah. thank you, yep. thank you. Yep.
absolutely stoked. Hidden. Hidden. Then you know where it is. Bang. Let's go. <laughs> Ready to deploy. Extinguishers are a requirement in caravans and motorhomes, but not in passenger vehicles or a four-wheel drive. But what are you going to do when you're in the bush and it's just you, your vehicle, and that vehicle catches a light? What a great bloke Russell is, flying the Aussie flag high for Aussie manufacturing. The video is not over yet though, I've got an important tip I want to share with you. The most well-rounded fire extinguisher you can get for this kind of travel is an ABE dry chemical or dry powder fire extinguisher. They're red with a white ring around the top and they're good for flammable materials, flammable liquids and electrical fires. They do have some shortcomings or they're not ideal for everything and that includes cooking oil fires and cooking fat fires. So if you like charcoal cooking, campfire cooking, camp oven cooking, then you really need something else to go with this extinguisher. And that is a fire blanket. These are cheap as chips. They never expire. They're easy to tuck away in an accessible place and they're very versatile. This is what you need to lay down over a fat fire if you're cooking in the bush. The ABE type extinguisher is also not well suited to flammable metal fires. This includes lithium ion batteries and lithium iron phosphate batteries, which have become massively popular over the last five years or so for four wheel driving. There's some conjecture around what is the most suitable extinguisher, and it's likely a foam type extinguisher. There's new ones hitting the market like the F500, and this is in line with the growing amount of EVs on the road as well. Without the perfect tool for the job, I'd put a fire blanket over the battery and then use the extinguisher around if there's any other flames and just let it be. What I like the most is that this area here is dead space in most people's vehicles. So you're making the most of the available space in your cab and you probably wouldn't have anything that important there anyway. So it's a great place for it. Hopefully we never have to use these I hope you don't, but if you do, I hope you're prepared and you can carry on your adventure with minor setback. Let me know how this video resonates for you in the comments and in particular, if you have a story, a good story about a fire, a vehicle, and maybe an extinguisher, I'd love to hear about it. See you soon.